What is up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danielle. I'm a licensed hairstylist and I post a lot of weeks in my life, day in my life, and just a bunch of hairdresser related videos. So make sure to subscribe. Also make sure to follow me on all of my social medias. I always have them down below. But as you can tell from the title, I'm switching it up a bit and doing a day in my life. I have been doing weeks in my life for the past couple videos, but I decided to do a day in my life instead to kind of show you guys what I do throughout the whole entire day. And it's also going to be a little bit different because today is Tuesday. It's usually my day off, but I have to go into the salon to do one client today, just my boyfriend's sister. For those of you that are new, my typical schedule is Wednesday through Saturday, but occasionally on Tuesdays I'll go in for some people if it's the only time they can come. So that's what I'm doing today, but we're doing it bright and early, so I'll have the rest of the day to do whatever I need to get done, so I will vlog everything I do today. It's currently 8.06. I'm going to leave around like 8.15ish because I want to go to Starbucks, and I also have to drop off a package to the post office from Poshmark, but I'm still kind of getting ready. I did my hair, makeup, put on my outfit, but I just wanted to show you guys some of the jewelry that I just got because it is perfect. And I also wanted to thank Verano Hill for sponsoring this portion of the video. Thank you guys so much for working with me. So I did receive two pieces and the first one I wanted to show you is a ring. It comes in like this cute little packaging and it just looks so perfect in this little box. And I wanted this ring so bad because I really only wear one ring and it's the ring my boyfriend got me for our four year anniversary. So I wanted to get another one to wear on my opposite hand. And this is her, it's just super timeless and it has like two gems attached to each other for each piece and a line in the middle. It is just perfect and I absolutely love how this looks. Just super effortless and simple. And then I got the cutest little butterfly necklace. This is so freaking cute. Like, come on. And I really wanted to get gold because I don't really have a lot of gold pieces and I kind of wanted it to like stand out. And I feel like my biggest pet peeve is long necklaces. I don't know if that's anyone else or if it's just me, but I just can't stand when necklaces are like dangling down my chest. I love more of the like small kind of choker look, not too choker, but literally just like this. Like, come on now. It's the perfect size. I'll show you guys a little bit more up close, but it is just so cute, so freaking adorable. I love it. I'm so happy with these two pieces. And if you guys haven't heard of Verano Hill, you have to go check them out. They are becoming one of like the fastest growing brands as far as like women's jewelry goes. And all of their jewelry is just suited for everyone. I can guarantee that if you go to their site, you'll find something that you absolutely love. They have a free six month guarantee with a 30 day money back guarantee. So God forbid you don't love it, which I doubt you will. You'll be able to return it for free 30 days. And what I love is that you know you're getting premium quality pieces for such a good price. So you definitely need to go check them out. I will have everything linked down below. And I do have a code for you guys. It is Danielle in all uppercase and you'll get 15% off your order. And I highly recommend this butterfly necklace. If you love butterflies, I adore butterflies. So that's why I had to get this. But again, all of their other pieces on the website are absolutely stunning and I know you guys are going to love them. So go check them out and let me know how you guys love them. Now it is time for me to get going. I need my Starbucks very badly and to drop off my little Poshmark thing. So I'll talk to you guys later. Guys, 
I'm so mad I didn't film ordering at Starbucks <laughs> because I freaking ran out of data. Yep, I don't have unlimited, okay? And I didn't have enough on my Starbucks app and I like to do it that way because I earn points and I can get free shit. So, here I am in my car trying to hook up to the Starbucks Wi-Fi, but my car is so annoying because with Apple CarPlay, your phone just automatically hooks up to like BMW CarPlay Wi-Fi, but it's not actually Wi-Fi. It's just like its way of doing Bluetooth for your Apple CarPlay. <sighs> So it kept like going back to the BMW one, but I wanted to stay on the Starbucks one and it was not working. So I was getting so annoyed that I didn't even film me ordering. But anyways, <laughs> I got the banana nut loaf. It is the greatest thing ever. And I used my points because I think I had like 90 something and 50 points means you get a free bakery item so it was free and then my drink that I've been obsessed with it's literally crack I've been saying is the venti ice chai tea latte with the pumpkin cream cold foam although they put a lot of the cold foam today it's fine but it is so freaking good I can't even explain it to you and then I got Carissa just like that pumpkin cream cold brew. For those of you that don't know, I hate coffee. I can't stand the taste of it. I don't know what it is. I just, I don't like it. So I'm a tea person. So if you're someone like me, get the chai, the pumpkin cream cold foam. It is amazing. Oh, my camera's already going to freaking die. Why? Well, when I get to the salon, probably just gonna like charge my battery for as long as I can before I start her hair so that I can show you guys what I'm doing okay bye so this is my clients hair before and her ultimate goal was to just go a lot darker for the fall time and still keep a little bit of dimension throughout. So I already did her root coverage. I just used 5NN from the Redken Chromatics Permanent line. And now what I'm doing is a full head of low lights. I start in the back and work my way to the front. I believe my formula for my low light was from Redken Shades EQ, 5N, 6N, and a little bit of 6NW just to add some warmth in there. A lot of her like highlights were more in the front of her head so I didn't do as many low lights in the back I mainly focused the low lights in the front which you'll see in a little bit but yeah I'm basically just taking horizontal sections doing a mixture of fine weaves and slices and just saturating the entire section <laughs> Once I let that sit for 25 minutes, I rinsed everything out and glazed the pieces that I left out with 6N, 7N, and a little bit of 7NB. And this was the final result. It looked so freaking good. We were both so happy with it. I also cut about an inch or an inch and a half off and we were just obsessed.
I thought I had to sneeze. But anyways, I am back home. Carissa's hair came out so good. I'm so happy with how it turned out. And then after that, we went to lunch just to grab a little bite to eat. As you saw, I ordered a turkey pesto sandwich and I think she ordered like a BLT. And then we both got the iced caramel apple cider. It was bomb. It was my first like apple cider of the season, I guess you can say. Apple cider is one of my favorite things because like I said earlier, I don't like coffee. So I like teas in the fall time. I like apple ciders. I usually like it warm but it's kind of hot today, so iced it is. But now I'm gonna get ready to go to the gym. I already have on my sports bra. This is from Gymshark, and I love this one because it like clips in the back, so you can adjust it. It also has like adjustable straps in the back, and then my leggings. <laughs> I'm literally standing on my chair, but these are the ombre ones, so they go from black to gray oh my god i'm turning and then i'm just gonna throw on this little t-shirt that kind of has like a slit at the bottom so that you can tie it and i love that about it <laughs> because it just makes it like that much cuter so like it has this slit right here so instead of just wearing it like this you can just take the sides and put it like so but yes i've been trying to go to the gym a lot more lately i was really slacking during the end of the summer i think just with how busy life was i kind of got distracted and just was like so tired from work that like the last thing i wanted to do when i got home was go to the gym because i was standing all day and just tired but we're changing that. But yeah, I'm not going to bring my camera to the gym, but I will try to take some videos on my phone for you guys. Um, yesterday I did abs. The day before that I did back and like some arms. And then the day before that I did butt. So I think I'm going to just restart and do like glutes and legs today. So I'm so excited. Okay. So yeah, I will see you to the gym Ooh, okay guys i am back home from the gym i just took a body shower and now i just have on comfy clothes i didn't even take my makeup off yet and i also did not wash my hair because i washed my hair yesterday and i wanted to tell you guys a few tips on not washing your hair after the gym i know hairstylists like myself tell our clients not to wash our hair every day because it is not good for the hair especially hair that is color treated or lightened so three things you can do are put your hair in a cute little updo the next day style it differently don't just leave it straight honestly my hair doesn't even look that bad after the gym if anything it's like the little hairs around my ear and like a little bit of the baby hairs around my hairline number two is dry shampoo this is going to be your best friend when either training your hair to not wash it all the time or just not to wash it all the time i typically wash my hair every three days and this is how i do it so i washed my hair yesterday and I'll probably use a little bit of this in the morning before work just to kind of zhuzh up my hair. I might put it in like a cute claw clip tomorrow or I will curl my hair. And then there's also a little trick. So say you go to the gym in the morning and you have somewhere to be during the day, you can always spray a little bit of water wherever you think your hair got really gross from sweat and then you can just blow dry it right after spraying it with water that's a good tip too but since i just went i'm not going anywhere i'm just gonna ignore it sleep on it and then tomorrow i'll handle the situation but yeah 
My hair really isn't that bad right now, so that's why I'm not concerned. Also, wanted to apologize that I didn't film at the gym because I was expecting not that many people to be there. Which, honestly, there wasn't many people there, but in the back room where I was, there was this guy working out, like, right diagonally from me. So I didn't want to videotape him, and I also didn't want him to watch me videotaping myself. Sorry about that, but I did an amazing glute slash leg workout. I, the last thing that I did, my legs were shaking. Like I couldn't even <laughs> finish my last set. But I did the glute machine where you push your legs out and in. I do elevated single leg squats. So like I'll put my leg up on the bench and squat holding weights. I do RDLs, I do kickbacks, I do hip thrusts. I think that's what made my legs so shaky. And then to top it all off, I did the leg press machine. And that was like the final exercise that I did. And my legs were literally shaking while doing the leg press. I thought my legs were going to give out on me. But yeah, and then, oh, and I always do a 10 minute warm up on the treadmill with like a 9 or 10 incline just to get my body flowing. And usually on the days that I don't do leg day, I'll do like 20 to 30 minutes of cardio at the end. But leg day, I, I can't do cardio after because my legs will literally give out on me but yeah so it's currently 4 31 i'm probably going to do some instagram stuff for work as far as getting my posts ready for the week i typically do that on mondays and tuesdays because they're my days off but since i was all over the place today i haven't been able to do much but i did want to talk a little bit about social media as a hairstylist because it really is part of our job if you think about it. So I have found what works best for me is posting three days a week and the days I like to post are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I like to break it up a little bit just so that I'm not overwhelming if that makes sense and it kind of gives each post its own time to get interaction. So if I were to post like every single day, people would probably miss some of the pictures I posted because I just post so much. So I think three days a week has been working really well for my account because I'm very active, but not too active. Get what I'm saying? So I did post yesterday on monday so i'm going to be posting tomorrow and i'm probably gonna do the reel that i did of carissa today because i'm going with like this fall vibe recently with my last two posts so i think i want to do another fall vibe which is from carissa's hair tomorrow and then on friday i'll post one of my blondes from last week just to kind of like break it up and be like since I did so many fall hairs like here's a blonde probably end up doing that but yeah social media is literally like another job it's intense so from now until about six I'm probably just going to go on my laptop do some stuff go on YouTube, make sure my week is planned and I know what's going to be going on. And then around like six, I have to cook dinner. So I'll show you guys that. But for now, I will talk to you guys after. Okay, so it is a little past six o'clock. I have to make dinner and I am so indecisive right now because my mom was like, you can either make pork chops or you can make the pasta with chicken and spinach. And I like don't know what I'm in the mood for. We ate pasta yesterday. So I was like really wanting to do the pork chops and stuff, but it's just like, oh my God, so much work. 
but we're just gonna do it. So my mom is gonna have her scallops. We've got garlic. We've got pork chops. What else? I don't know how to do this. <laughs> All right, I guess this can be the pork chop thing. This is gonna be for potatoes. And then I don't know about you, but I like to eat my pork chops with applesauce. Usually my mom makes applesauce, but she bought some either last week or whatever. So just gonna have that. The Goya seasoning for the pork chops. All right, so. Let's get started. All right, water for potatoes. I'm gonna put <laughs> I'm gonna put some garlic. Do we do garlic in the pork chops? Nope, we don't. We do butter. Right. I already messed up, but that's fine. I'm thinking of when we do ground beef, we put garlic in the thing. We do butter, butter. Let's try this again. We're gonna do butter and we're just gonna leave that there for now because I need to peel and cut potatoes. pork chops so I just turned like the thing on to melt the butter but usually what my mom does is she'll take this like meat pounder thing I guess and just go at it but our thing is like broken so it does that Urgh, so, so annoying but I can't win. But once you do that a few times, I put a little bit of the Goya on each side and then just slap them in the pan. All right, there we are. There we are. So I guess I just wait a few minutes, flip it, wait a few more minutes. We should be good, but I'll show you guys the finished result when I'm done. Mm. Yes. All right, guys. So I just finished eating dinner. It actually turned out pretty well, so I'm proud of myself. But it's pretty much almost 8 o'clock now, and the voice recently just came back with Ariana Grande as, like, the new judge and it started yesterday i watched a little bit of it but tonight i want to watch the whole show with my mom so that's what i'm gonna do for the rest of the night so i'm just gonna end this video off here i really hope you guys enjoyed this day in my life as a hairstylist if you guys want to see more days in my life rather than weeks in my life let me know down below or if you just want to see both or weeks of my life, more than days of my life, let me know that as well. And again, don't forget to check out Verano Hill. The link is in my bio. Use my code Danielle for 15% off and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.